we have a new accessory to check out. We sure do. This is a speaker. Yeah. Bluetooth speaker. Mm -hmm. This is the Tribit Stormbox Micro 2. That means there was a Micro 1. There was a Micro 1. Mm -hmm. And actually, it was just the Micro. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Uh, there are some noticeable differences between the two. Sure. And we'll get into that here in just a bit. Uh, so, I will start to unbox this. Yeah. For the delight of the overhead camera. Yeah. And for the viewers watching. Yep. Uh, if you want to tell us a little bit about the speaker as we go through it, sure. I will pull up the specs. Yeah. So, first of all, Tribit is a company that we've become familiar with. Mm -hmm. And um, the thing that they do uh, very well is make a quality product at a very affordable price. Yes. Um, surprisingly, uh, it's one of those companies we had never really heard of, and it was one of those that was like, okay, you know, not expecting a lot, but we've tried headphones, we've tried earbuds, and they just deliver. And uh, this thing is no different. Yeah, this, as the brand uh, I found in my house, earbuds, I'll come, they'll come home, I'll check them out, yep. review them, and I'll usually kind of get a review by committee in the yeah. house. My wife will play with them or my son, and then I'll kind of get some feedback from them as I yep. go to shape our written or final review. Right. Storm, the uh, Tribit brand is one that uh, I have I was surprised to hear people go, hey, honey, where are the, and they'll yeah. be asking for the Tribit, yeah. you know. So uh, I feel like that would be the same here. Yeah. And I know that you tested this a little bit. Yep. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a brand that... I'm no longer kind of, I don't, we see a lot of brands. We do. We see a lot of things. And your guard is up a little bit sometimes sure. when you get it. You're like, I've never heard of this company. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I think. Uh, I don't know what I'm getting into. Yeah. Uh, but this is one that's kind of earned my trust. Yeah, they've allayed any, uh, ne uh, you know, apprehension we've had. So mm -hmm. the, tr uh, the Stormbox Micro 2 is a... Uh, you know, I guess for it's a Bluetooth speaker mm -hmm. is the simplest way to say it, but it's very much like a mobile go with you anywhere kind of action speaker. Yeah, um, it's got a really nice. Uh, you know, you just kind of cheated it there a little bit. This neoprene kind of uh, strap mm -hmm. that'll go on. You know, a backpack. Uh, you know, a, a backpack strap. It'll go on a bicycle uh, crossbar it'll go on you know a rack on your Jeep or something like anywhere if and this will kind of lead into one of the features if you are canoeing or kayaking yes rafts this will also work on that because this is IP67 rated so yeah. up to three meters of water yeah you're gonna have no problem um, it, this thing, is it's very simple mm -hmm. in the design. You know, you got those big buttons on the top that show kind of the, the play pause in the middle is the circle and then your plus and minus for volume. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Yep. Um, you can control like s skipping tracks and all that on your device if you want to. Um, but it's got a, a really simple uh, button for turning it on. Mm -hmm. It's got a sound that notifies you when it turns on and then you can turn on for pairing for your Bluetooth. And you got some LED lights to let you know when you're paired and then also how much battery you have left. Speaking of battery. Yes. This thing will last 12 hours playtime mm -hmm. and up to 30 days standby. So it it will no problem handle a day of adventure. Mm -hmm. You know, wherever you're, if you're hiking, if you're canoeing, if you're, you know, just playing disc golf, it's right. going to be there and it is loud yeah so this is a a 10 watt amplifier um and it is very loud for the size it's, i mean it's just a little box but uh it's got it's got a decent amount of output um and it, it's a very full sound mm -hmm. you know you got you got the bass coming out the back kind of a lower end um so that it reverberates off of you know whatever it's sitting against. Mm -hmm. uh, we found that when we were playing around and listening to different tracks, it just uh, it doesn't sound you know brittle, right. which is always something that is a, a potential thing for a Bluetooth speaker. 
I will, I've just paired it, I will play some music. Now this is not going to give you an indication as to the quality because of what you're watching it on. Yeah. What we're recording it on. But uh, just to see if I can do that. Uh, one other feature, we were talking about battery. Uh, this has what's called Smart ID yeah. tech. What does that do in terms of the battery? So it has it charges through USB C, mm -hmm. um, but it will also work as a charger for a device. So you can charge it through USB, but then you also can use that cable to charge your phone or a pair of headphones or mm -hmm. some other USB C device. Uh, now it's not going to do something like a laptop or anything like that. It's not that powerful. Right. Um, but if you need to get a couple extra minutes on your phone or something like that, you should be you should be fine mm -hmm. uh, for that. Um, the other thing is the Bluetooth technology for what this is. So this thing comes in at sixty dollars for this this little Bluetooth speaker. Mm -hmm. And for $60, it also is running Bluetooth 5.3, which is brand new, uh, 120 foot range. So no matter where you are, you set this thing out, maybe poolside, mm -hmm. and you leave your phone over by your chair or you know somewhere else, you're gonna be able to be paired no matter where you are. Um, the other thing that it will let you do is you could put two of these storm boxes together and do a stereo mode. Mm -hmm. um, so 5.3, really fast connection, tons of range on it, and the ability to, to pair multiple devices together yep. to get a stereo sound. So I'm gonna hit play and mm -hmm. see if it's connected here. Cool. Here we go. Now we're in a studio. Turn it down. We are in a uh, an office suite, mm -hmm. and we've got some professional buildings around here. Suffice it to say, I'll turn it up here again for a moment. It's louder than we feel comfortable with playing, yeah. because of our neighbors. And yeah, so turn it up to what you you know what you think. Right there, it's like sixty percent on your phone, yeah. so it's not even full blast. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it has a nice feel base. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it's tinny no. and pushing beyond its weight. Nope. Uh, it, it feels very, very nice. It, I, would, I wouldn't have been surprised to see this thing at $89, $99. Absolutely. Especially because of the features. And mm -hmm. it's, it's got some weight to it, but it's not heavy. Right. So it doesn't feel like, you know, if I, if I use this strap and put it on the strap of my backpack if I'm hiking, it's not gonna be a thing where it's like, man, why did I bring this speaker? This is like bogging me down. At the same um, time, you'll notice if you lost it. Yes. Like, oh, that thing just fell off. Yeah, but you know, this is a pretty thick strap and it's got some give, yeah. um, you know, it's gonna stay attached. So to compare this to the original Stormbox yeah. Micro, yep. this has 10 watts, the original had nine. Mm -hmm. This has 12 hour playtime, the original had eight. Yep. Bluetooth 5 is now 5.3. Yeah. And now you also have the ability to charge other devices out of it. Yeah. So quite a step up from all one generation upgraded. to the yeah. next. And it's all for 60 bucks. Yeah. So um, I, as of the time of us uh, recording this and when we first got it, it was not available on Tribit's website. Mm -hmm. But you can find it on Amazon, a couple other places if you look around. Um, but... You know, those will be in stock, yeah. You know, randomly. So, yep, it's a new arrival, yeah. So, not sure how many they have on hand yet, right? Uh, so yeah, this is the Tribit Stormbox Micro 2. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm.